Welcome back to Game Galaxy, and today we're talking about the mighty Gauntlet Legends for the Sega Dreamcast. This came out on N64 and PS1 as well, but I'm going to focus on this version because this version is a little bit different than those other ones and a little bit special, but Gauntlet Legends is one of my favorite games of all time. I've played through this version multiple times with many different characters and with many other people. And originally this was an arcade game developed by Atari Games and published by Midway in 1998. I've always been a fan of the original Gauntlet games, especially if you got four players around an arcade cabinet, and it was just so fun to run through those mazes as fast as you could. But it wasn't until 98 that I saw Gauntlet Legends in the arcade, and my mind was blown seeing your characters in 3D. They looked so cool. And my favorite character to use is the Blue Valkyrie. I just think her sword and her attacks and her armor just make her look like a complete badass. And I love the Blue Valkyrie. The story is that a demon named Scorn was summoned by an evil mage called Garm using a set of rune stones. Scorn killed Garm and imprisoned his soul in the underworld and then scattered the rune stones throughout the four realms so they couldn't be used to trap him again. This is the ultimate couch co-op game that ever was and will be. This game is simple enough that anybody can just pick it up and play. You pick from a variety of different warriors and select your color preference. Each character have their own special attributes that they excel in. For example, a wizard will have way stronger magic stat than a warrior. There are four stats that will level up throughout the game, and that's strength, speed, armor, and magic. As you fight your way through the four realms, your character will gain levels and your stats will increase, but you can also buy upgrades between levels to boost your stats. Each character will have a level cap on how much you can boost those stats until you level up again. And if you reach level 99 like my Valkyrie, they will have an ultimate cap on the different stat categories for that given character. There isn't anything super difficult or intricate here to talk about, but that's why it's so great. The quest is to collect the rune stones to banish Scorn to the underworld forever. I love that all of the four realms have their own themes. The Mountain Realm, which is guarded by a dragon. The Castle Realm, which houses the Chimera. The Desert Realm, which has an Egyptian flair and has an evil genie. And finally, the Forest Realm, which consists of acidic swamps and giant trees. The Queen Spider resides here. There are so many items you can use on your quest, such as potions, which allow you to cast magic. The amount of damage and area of effect will correlate to that character's magic stat. There are four types of magic that coincide with the four gauntlet colors. Red is fire magic, green is acid, blue is lightning, and yellow is light magic. My favorite magic to use is the yellow light magic. It just looks so cool and it's really pretty. The lightning magic is cool as well. But magic is extremely powerful if you choose the wizard. He can clear entire rooms with just one blast. You have to collect keys to open treasure chests and doors, and finding food will replenish your health. You know, speaking of food, that's actually one thing I have to point out about the Dreamcast version is that there's nowhere to buy food in this version from a shop or anything. So if you're low on health, the only way to get more is by playing level one over and over again since it has a lot of food and gold in it. And so I have done this so much. In fact, I played this with a group of three other people back in the day. So there were four characters that once our health got low and we were done playing for the day, I would then spend uh, time before the next time we play running through level one with everybody's characters getting their health back up. It was insane. Um, so I can probably do level one blindfolded. Hidden within the realms are special weapons that will help you deal great damage to the bosses. For example, the toxic bellows I found in the desert realm can be used on the spider queen in the forest realm. There are a lot of other fun power-ups as well, such as the thunder hammer, which obliterates all enemies on screen. Element amulets boost your attacks, there's speed boost, and there's hilariously awesome power-ups like Pojo the Chicken. Green Archer is now Pojo. Every time it happens, I just absolutely love it. Ultimately, this is one of the best games you can play with another person or up to four people if you can wrangle that many people. Now, like I said, it came out for N64 and PS1. I don't have the N64 version, so I can't comment on that. But I do have it for PS1, and it's pretty good. 
one of the differences is that you can only control up to two people at once and there's a lot less enemies just due to the hardware constraint but it has a cool inventory system and N64 does as well where you the items you pick up you can save them for later and use them for later in the Dreamcast and other versions as soon as you pick them up it, you're using the item so that's pretty cool. Now if you're a fan of Gauntlet or if you've completed Legends and you want more, the Gauntlet Legends story arc continues in Gauntlet Dark Legacy. This was originally released in the arcade as sort of an expansion pack to Gauntlet Legends and this is the definitive Gauntlet experience. But let me preface, this is not an adventure taken lightly because now there's eight rounds you're going to have to go through to rid the world of evil. The graphics and frame rate have been improved as well as new gameplay mechanics such as the ability to do normal and strong attacks and perform combos which are really helpful. I really love this version as it feels like the most complete Gauntlet experience and it's available on PS2, original Xbox, and the GameCube. In fact, the Dreamcast version is a little bit of a hybrid between Gauntlet Legends and Gauntlet Dark Legacy, um, but this version right here on the Sega Dreamcast reigns on the throne of my heart as my favorite and most beloved version of Gauntlet. So if you are looking for that awesome, perfect co-op game, go grab yourself a copy of this and prepare yourself to run the Gauntlet. <laughs>